Turbo Pug is a brand new, cute, infinite runner pixel based game available on Steam. You know those games that are flooding the mobile market where you have a character that runs endlessly and your goal is to see how long you can keep running before that character ends up running into an object, falling into a pit, or being decimated in one way, shape, or form. You can collect various items along the way, usually in order to increase your score, but your overall goal is to see how high of a score you can get and how long you can possibly last. Turbo Pug has the aesthetic of being, well, a cute, adorable pug, and you can even get a cat in the game. And the game is only a dollar now on Steam. But the question does remain, is the game truly worth that one dollar? Turbo Pug uses the Unity engine, which has become vastly popular with independent developers on the PC, and I've even seen it trickle onto consoles with the likes of even Snoopy's Grand Adventure, which came out recently that I just reviewed. Turbo Pug actually also uses a setup called Pixel Runner. Basically on Unity, because it's so easy to program for, some people have actually kind of created basic setups that people can take and then mold into their own thing. So they already kind of have like the basic engine of a particular type of game and then they just kind of put in like their different graphics and music and all that kind of stuff in order to create their own unique game. Turbo Pug uses that engine and places you in control of a pug and you can actually unlock multiple different types of pugs. Well, the same pug just with either a rainbow attached or a hat or even a Superman style cape. And there's also two cats you can get as well, a normal cat and then the cat also with one of the cones of shame wrapped around it. You unlock the characters pretty quickly throughout as you control your pug, so it won't be too long before you're able to unlock the other characters. And the only thing that really changes up is some characters run faster than others, and some characters can do a double jump while other ones cannot. Turbo Pug, though, is a basic runner game, a very basic infinite runner game. The background stays the same throughout your entire experience, though there is weather effects that come into play, such as snow or rain, and with the rain effect, you will sometimes be struck by lightning, and during that time, you'll kind of just float for a second or two before you're able to regain control of your pug. Sometimes this will actually help you out as you'll clear a gap using this, or other times it may drop you right on top of a set of spikes. The main hazards that you're going to be dealing with in Turbo Pug involve you trying to jump on ledges, on boxes, and trying to avoid things like buzz saws or giant spikes. I have to say for an infinite runner game, while it's not the worst I have played for sure, the graphics have a little bit of a darker tone to them, so when you get into the rain effects and the weather effects happen at random, you have no control over them, it can be a little bit difficult to see some of the darker objects. I can recommend maybe turning up the brightness on your computer monitor so that you're able to see things a little bit more clearly. Also with the high speed of the game, it can get a little bit blurry. If your eyes aren't quite the best, you may be having a hard time actually being able to see exactly what's going on. It's pretty high speed action and of course with a game like this, you always have to be ready to hit that jump button at a moment's notice in order to clear gaps or clear obstacles. So when it's blurry and sometimes the frame rate becomes really choppy, this really takes away from the overall experience. These kind of games like this, you need pinpoint precision, and frame rate drops is definitely something you don't want to see in a game like this. Your only goal in Turbo Pug, though, is to get a high score. You'll rack up your score by going up slowly one at a time as you're running through or you'll collect Pug tokens to give you 50 or 100 extra points. And the longer you last, of course, the more points you're going to get. And in the long run, the only thing you can really do is compare your score with the leaderboards, compare it with friends, or just overall try to set a goal for yourself and then see if you're able to reach that goal. There's no levels to complete, there's no story mode to the game, it's a very, very basic runner game for what it ends up being. This is one of those games that would have really benefited from actually being on the mobile market. In fact, it's actually not on iOS or Android as far as I know, and it would be a good idea, I think, for the developer to actually look at that, because if it was on the phone, it'd be a nice little couple of minute time waster style game, but being available on PC, it, it just ends up getting rather boring rather quickly. I spent about 45 minutes to an hour with the game before I was finally like, you know what, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go play 
something else. Unfortunately, also, there's no Steam achievements to get, there's no Steam trading cards, and just having the achievements, I know for some people, would be a drawing factor. This game is, of course, already only a dollar, and right now, actually on sale for about 60 cents or so for the first little launch window of the game. So, a lot of people are seeing it on their newly released Steam games, and Having those Steam achievements definitely, I think, would have a few people buying the game that may not necessarily uh, buy something of this kind. With the game costing only a dollar, I have to judge it accordingly, but there's a lot of games like this. There's a ton of Infinite Runner games out there, and yes, it's only a dollar, but there's honestly a lot of games out there that are free that will give you the exact same amount of entertainment value out of it, so... If they had at least put some Steam achievements or cards or just something else that made it stand out just a bit more, I could see giving it a higher score, but for what it is, I'm honestly going to give it a 4 out of 10. I think back to basic steaming, I like the idea, I looked at their website, they have a few other like RPG projects and some other stuff that they're working on. Another game they have released got some really negative reviews, but I hadn't played that one before myself. But this, it's, it's not a bad game, it's not broken, there are some frame rate issues, and for that, like I said, I'm going to leave it with a 4 out of 10. But that's going to wrap up this review of Turbo Pug for PC Steam. Thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.